Hey everyone, welcome back to another tech tip video. Today we're going to talk about the pros and cons between a solid state drive and your traditional platter drive. Stay tuned. So one of the biggest questions in the computer world is should you upgrade from a hard drive to an SSD? And the answer is it really depends on what you do. If you do a lot of storage, things like that, you may want to consider keeping a hard drive. But if you want like fast, responsive, you want an SSD, where I'm going to go ahead and put up a chart that shows the pros and cons of each. And then we're going to go ahead and take a look at the difference of speeds between the solid state drive and a hard drive. So looking at the graph between the two, we're going to start with the SSD, move on over to the hard drive. For pros for the SSD, they are very fast. They do generate less heat because there are no moving parts, which in turn increases their lifespan and, of course, lower power consumption, but all at the cost of being very expensive and a smaller capacity than a traditional hard drive. Uh, moving over to the hard drive here for pros, you've got larger capacity. They are cheaper than an SSD. For example, a one terabyte SSD will run you about $300, where is a one terabyte hard drive will run you anywhere between $50 to $70, depending on the brand and the speed of that. But uh, you can see that the cons for the hard drive are a little bit slower. They do generate more heat because there is moving parts, and they do have a higher power consumption on that. Uh, but just to kind of show you a few benchmarks as far as speed, these numbers will change depending on your other hardware, such as your CPU and the RAM in your computer. But this will give you an idea of the differences in the actual speed of a hard drive versus a uh, standard a solid state drive. So on you can see here from Windows 7 startup from being completely off to ready to go, you're looking at just shy of two minutes on the, S on the HD, the hard drive, and you're looking at just under a minute with the solid state drive. So about a full minute on that. Now, you can do both if you want. On my computer, for example, I have a solid state drive set up for the operating system and the main programs that I use. But I also use a hard drive, a traditional hard drive, for things as far as picture storage, backup storage, things like that. So just another example of speed. As far as programs like Photoshop CS6, we all know that that program can be pretty hefty depending on the size or the complexity of the project. On a standard 7200 RPM platter drive, you're looking at about 22 seconds for it to be usable. Um, as opposed to the six and a half seconds it is for the SSD. As always, thank you very much for watching. If you haven't considered subscribing, please do so. We do a lot of how-tos, a lot of tutorials. Go ahead and click that link right below me on the subscribe button there. Also, if you want to check out some of our other videos, those are over there on the left-hand side as well. Just a quick question of the day before you go. What kind of storage device do you guys prefer? Leave that answer in the comment section below. Once again, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.